Salut Yannan et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Alors, je vais euh, expliquer ce qu'on va faire en anglais maintenant. So guys, we've looked at the first few steps of this module, module 1 for GCC, and it's done. So today is the real test of what you can do. We're going to be doing uh, your first GCC writing question. Now the question you're looking at today is from an old exam paper. So think about that. Some year 11s have answered this. A big part of their GCC was determined on how well they did. You're going to have a go today and you'll get a GCC grade from it. So four, five, six or whatever. Now, one of the real challenges is, and you'll think this now, we're learning this now. And I've already told you this came up in a real exam. So the challenge for all your GCCs is in 2022, you'll need to know this language and remember it and use it. And that is why we work so hard. And that is why you need to really learn and spend your time solidifying this language because it matters and we want you to know the French, not just for 2022 either, but for 2032, for 2042. I want you to be able to use this for the rest of your lives. So this is what it's all about today. Um, if you don't feel ready for a writing assessment, why don't you stop this video? Why don't you go and do some revision? Why don't you look back over what you did last lesson? Why don't you look and maybe watch some old videos to get some vocabulary up and then restart? If you want to go for it today, we'll do some revision together. <coughs> Excuse me, I'll talk about some key things and then we'll get into it. So that's what's coming up today. Donc, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire aujourd'hui? Et il n'y a pas de cahier rose. Donc ça, c'est pas un problème. Donc si tu utilisais vu, vu cahier bleu, copier ou inventer le date pour moi, copier le titre et le contrôle de post-it aujourd'hui. Il faut tuer les choses ici aujourd'hui. Donc, s'il vous plaît, comment dit-on les six choses ici? Put me on pause, see if you can do it. Alors, right, let's see what we've got. So, if you couldn't do these six things, you're going to struggle today. Because you're going to be able to, you're going to need to use all of them. So let's go through the answers to see if you're ready. Today we're testing you on everything we've covered from the GCC so far. So that is describing yourself, talking about your family relationships, and talking about your friends. These are the three things that are going to form our four questions. Donc, on va commencer avec I think that. Remember, giving opinions is going to be so crucial. And that extra language and the developing language that we use so well, you're going to need to know it today. Donc, I think that, je pense que, I want to hear this today. À mon avis, selon moi, think about all the things that are stuck on the wall in BB9 that you all copy that you're not allowed to today. Make sure this gets into your work. I am. We talked about the importance of être last week. It is, je suis. You've got to know the verb être and avoir off by heart. J'ai, tu as, il est l'on a, nous avons, vous avez, ils, elles ont. Être, je suis, tu es, il est l'on a, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils, elles sont. You need to know as well as I do for your GCC. So, if je suis as I am, add some more detail today to your work by using negatives. I am not is, je ne suis pas. And you can use that with others. Elle n'est jamais égoïste. She's never selfish. That's a simple way to get some more advanced sound and, sound and language into your work and to make you stand out a bit more to the examiner. So using negatives today, these first three are simple, but doing the basics really well is so important for GCC. Alors, numéro 4, today I told you you're going to talk about a friend. A good friend, on dirait un bon ami or une bonne amie or... Remember, we talked about <coughs> talked about our link of vocab today. So instead of ami, can you use copain or copine? Can you use po? Think about these things. This is what you need to do. Numéro 5, someone who is. This is a really nice advanced phrase, guys. It is quelqu'un qui est. Un bon ami et quelqu'un qui est. Beautiful. This is what you need to use. This is the advanced language we want to see today, guys. Use it. Et finalement, numéro 6, I get on well with. Another key phrase is, je m'entends bien avec. Guys, you're going to need to know all six of these. Did you get all six right? If you have, well done. You are ready. We're going to do some warm-ups. We won't go straight into the writing exam. Alors donc, je vais expliquer la prochaine activité en français. is all on your sheet, which is uploaded on Frog. You can either work straight in your book or you can type on the sheet or draw lines on the sheet. C'est à vue à décider. Alors donc, on y va. Alors, ceci, on a la première activité. Donc, la chose importante, c'est trois minutes. Donc, si vous avez ton portable, utilisez le minuteur et mettez trois minutes sur le minuteur pour vue. Alors donc, aujourd'hui, il ne faut faire tu les mots. Cinq, c'est bien. 8, c'est très bien. 10 sur 10, ce sera fantastique. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'il faut faire? Il faut, il faut compléter 
la phrase. Puis, il faut trouver la paire. Par exemple, numéro 1 dit « J'ai les yeux ». Voilà, « J'ai les yeux ». Qu'est-ce que c'est « J'ai les yeux » en anglais Voilà, c'est « J ». I have the eyes, as I say in French. So I have blue eyes, I have brown eyes. Il faut compléter la phrase, puis tu veux la perdre. Le défi additionnel est ici, dans le 3 minutes. Comment dire a good friend is someone who is never annoying? Essayez de traduire la phrase. Alors, mettez Mr. Ennis sur pause et après 3 minutes, recommencez la vidéo et je ferai, je ferai les réponses. Bon courage mes petits, 3, 2, 1, on y va. Alors, right guys, if you've restarted me, you're ready for the answers. Let's see what we've got. So, this looks quite simple than it is, but it's just, it's just to stress that these are must knows. If you struggle to do this today, to get, let's say, eight or more, I really think you should revise a bit before starting this lesson, because these phrases are must knows that you've got to use today. Let's go through them. I did the first one for you beautifully. That looks so messy. Let's get rid of that. Alors, donc, le premier, j'ai déjà fait numéro uh, de dit. J'ai les cheveux, qui veut dire c'est I have the hair. Alors, numéro 3 et numéro 4, c'est je suis et je ne suis pas. Ce sont les choses très importantes aujourd'hui. Numéro 5, c'est un bon copain. Le version féminin, c'est une bonne copine. Donc, utilisez euh, les synonymes aujourd'hui. Un bon ami, un bon copain, un bon pot. C'est mieux que seulement utiliser un bon ami. Numéro 6. Alors, est et, blablabla, ça veut dire, et quelqu'un qui est. C'est très important, je dis, I want you all to say, un bon ami et quelqu'un qui est, uh, un soeur énervante et quelqu'un qui est. This is a really nice phrase. The examiner will love it, it will get you a top mark. Numéro 7, alors, n'est pas. Numéro 8, n'est jamais. We talked about the importance of using negatives. The question is not going to specifically ask you for a negative. You've got to use your independence and your self, uh, sense and say, like, I can talk about what I'm like. I'm going to say what I'm not like. I'm going to talk about what my sister isn't like. This is all the things to use. Alors, numéro 9, je m'entends bien avec. Absolutely crucial today. Et finalement, je les trouve. C'est A, I find them. So remember, je le trouve, je la trouve, je les trouve. These are some high level phrases for you. And here's your extra challenge. Un bon ami, or un bon copain, or un bon pot. Et quelqu'un qui n'est jamais caspillé, excellent effort if you got that. We're going to have one more warm up, but I'm going to really lift the difficulty. Alors, on a fait sup de mots avant. Mais aujourd'hui, c'est différent parce que normalement, oui, on a l'anglais ici. Mais il n'y a pas d'anglais, j'ai une phrase en français et j'ai les mots qui manquent. Ce qu'il faut faire... Regardez le mot dans le bol, voilà, et il faut compléter la phrase avec les mots ici. Donc, selon un bon ami et et toujours. Donc, c'est selon moi. Donc, ici, j'écris moi. According to me, a good friend is who, <laughs> a good friend is, is always, so it's someone who is, ah, right, so okay, that way. Donc, chercher dans le bol for someone who, chercher ça, utiliser les mots seulement une fois et compléter la feuille pour moi, s'il vous plaît, avec les mots qui montent. Alors, c'est difficile aujourd'hui, donc je veux seulement question 1 et 2. Si vous euh, complétez ça, vous avez fait du bien. Euh, question 3 et 4 sont plus difficiles et 5 ans et 6 ce sont pour les experts cross the words out as you go along because it will really help you out on the more difficult ones. For your extra challenge, make sure you know what four to six are. Guys, why don't you set a minuteur on your pot app for um, cinq minutes pour cette activité et essayez de compléter ça. See how far you can get in five minutes. If you do before that, a really good effort. Right, guys, put me on pause. I'll go through the answers when you restart me. This is tough. Bon effort. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Alors, mes lapins, let's see what we've got then. If you've restarted me, you've done as best you can. Don't worry if you haven't completed these, if you've got a lot of gaps. This is always a lot of a tougher activity. But when I show you the answers, you're like, oh, how did I not get that? I like this. It's a bit of a puzzle today. Alors, donc, la première activité. On a déjà fait le premier. Donc, ça veut dire, selon moi, according to me, un bon ami est 
quelqu'un qui est toujours honnête. Voilà, so here we've got, according to me, a good friend is someone who is always honest. This is the first bit. So they all link together. L'honnêteté. So this is honest, this is honesty. L'honnêteté est un trait de personnalité très important pour moi. So honesty is a personality trait very important for me so this is a nice phrase for today can you use this in your own work a personality trait that means like an aspect of your personality like i'm funny kind dashing personality trait guys you need to use that i'd love to see that in some of your writing today alors numéro toi pour moi un bon ami est amusant et me fait rire sors-tu si je suis triste now this is where we really pick up the difficulty. For me, a good friend is funny, and this is what we need to do today. It's about giving examples and developing your ideas. So if you say your best friend or a good friend is funny, I need an example. Now, this is a good one. Me fait rire means make me laugh. Literally, me makes laugh. That is a great little extension to it. And then it gets even better here. Surtout, we've talked about this word before. It means above all or especially. Especially if I am sad. Simple. That is quite a simple sounding sentence, but the examiner would absolutely love this. You've given your point and then you've given some extra analysis and explanation and development, which is perfect. Could you add to this? They tell jokes or something like that, or like they should be a comedian or, or like that's how to get even higher. That's eight and nine territory. That's what to do. All right. If you did the first three, you've done really well. If you've done nothing of four, five and six, don't be disappointed. This is, this is really hard today, guys. We're testing you on GCC and without you in the class, it's really hard to like give praise and tell you how well you're all doing. Um, so I'll try. Um, but don't feel bad if you've not done well on this. We've made it really challenging today. Alors donc, numéro 4. À mon avis, un bon ami voit le bon côté de choses et n'est pas pessimiste. So another really tough one. This says, in my opinion, a good friend, a good friend voit le bon côté de choses means sees the good side of things. So always sees the positives and n'est pas pessimiste and isn't pessimistic. Remember, you can, like, you're using with the word like pessimiste, optimiste. These are nice, like, advanced English words. Optimism, pessimism. They're beautiful. If you can use them in French, that shows a more complex vocabulary that the examiner is going to love. All right, numéro 5. Getting really tough now. Je me fâche parfois contre moi mère Je la trouve vraiment égoïste et caspillée. I love these sentences here. So, everyone you je m'entends bien avec, je ne m'entends pas avec. And they're great phrases. I love them. But can you give some variety? Can you say, je ne m'entends pas avec mon frère parce que je me fâche contre mon père, je me chamaille avec. All of these will, will show your variety in your vocab that you do know. Show that variety. Show me how well you know all these different phrases. This is the great one for today. Je me fâche. <coughs> Remember, parfois, there's loads of ways to say sometimes. Parfois, quelquefois, de temps en temps, use them all. Je la trouve. This is our advanced bit of French today. I have find, instead of using tre, you wouldn't believe how many times I read the word tre, and people always get the accent wrong or leave it off. Use a different one, like vraiment. I find her really or truly selfish and annoying. Okay, and then finalement, numéro 6. I never say anything like that about my mom. Numéro 6, le dernier, pas. Exemple. Elle ne m'aide pas quand j'ai des problèmes et les soucis. Oh, this is beautiful. So, this links to five. If you put five and six together, I'm really, really happy. So, it says, by example, for example. Now, giving examples is how to get the top bracket on the writing exam. So, don't just tell me, for example, your mom's selfish and annoying. Give me an example as to why. For example, she doesn't help me. When I have problems, that's good, but then it adds this extra bit of language. Et les soucis, les soucis are worries. So she doesn't help me when I've got problems and worries. Beautiful. That is level nine, guys. That's what to do to get the top mark here. I love it. 
Now, you can't obviously use this because I know you've copied it from your word soup, but you could alter it. You could say a good friend is someone who listens to me quand j'ai des problèmes, et les soucis. That'd be a really nice way to repurpose this language and to use it as your own. That's what it's all about. So this is the word soup. I know it was tough today and it wasn't about you getting good marks on it, really. It was more for me to show you some really good sentences and to show you what I want to see because you will get a GCC mark out of 20 on this. I'm going to explain how the mark scheme works now. Hello, me pity. So the writing exam is 25%. And in all our previous years where we've done an exam, obviously this year, year 11, are getting forecast grades, where we've done exams in the years before, this has been our lowest scoring one. We've done a lot of work on the writing to make sure we build it up. That's because it's the hardest exam, I'd reckon. Everyone thinks the speaking is, but we practice so much at Glenfor and, and your, your speaking is really, really good already, and I'm, but the writing is a lot tougher. Let me go through our mark scheme for today. So this is what you'll need to do. This is the foundation tier one, so I won't spend any time discussing this because I know some of you will be foundation, some of you will be higher. I'll explain this later. But we'll all do a 20 mark question. This is the end of the foundation tier or the second question on the higher tier, and it's a really good marker to have. So this is what it looks like. You get marks for your communication and content. How well you communicate in French and the sort of things you can put. So this is all our things like the vocabulary we use, giving examples, developing your ideas. So to be bottom of the ring, we, we don't want, this is what you'll do, brief information and no examples and no justifications. For example, un bon ami est amusant, full stop. Rubbish, okay? So there's some nice vocabulary here, but you're not, communicating a lot you're not giving a lot of content so the examiner can't give you a good mark on that la deuxième some information and some development so here we go a typical sentence would be un bon ami est amusant il me fait rire this is nice there's some advanced grammar you thought about developing your ideas but don't go anywhere else so this would be a four to six which is about a grade four about a c grade how do we go up to where we want to be then? Seven to nine looks like this. Look at this. Un bon ami amusant, il me fait rire quand je suis triste. <laughs> up to here would be perfect. So a good friend is funny. He or she, he makes me laugh when I am sad. I love that. Even better, this would be nine or maybe even ten marks. Or I've had a bad day. Lovely. Now think how much you can use that in the context. J'ai eu une mauvaise journée. That is a key phrase to copy. That'd be great. All right, how do we get the eights to nines? Looks like this. So more examples. So I've got the same sentence. A good friend is funny. He makes me laugh when I am sad. For example, my friend Paul makes jokes when I've had a bad day. What a fantastic sentence. Couldn't write anything better than that myself. That is how to get the top marks. I want examples. So tell me what your friend does. Give the example of what they do that you like that makes them a good friend or what someone in your family does that makes them annoying. So they're selfish. For example, they take my clothes without asking or they like anything you can develop as much as you can to get the top mark. This is probably the hardest thing to do in GCSE. The other side of your marks, and it's slightly fewer, so it's out of 20, so content is 12, is grammar. So, to get a low mark, there's simple, and this is the word, repetitive structures. If you say, un bon ami est quelqu'un qui, that's great. If you say it 10 times, it's rubbish, it's repetitive, it's not showing what you need to do. You need to mix it up. So, instead of saying, je m'entends bien avec, say that once. Then say j'ai de bon rapport avec. Show me a range to go for it. Simple sentences like we just saw, and then poor controller tenses. Not knowing your past, present, and future ain't gonna get your mark on it. So moving up, you got allowed some repetition for the next box. Longer sentences and linking ideas like you've just seen. Some understanding of tenses. You say, oh, last week with my friends we went here and we did this. Perfect. All right. So for the top two, this is what you need. So compare them together a complex range of structures. So I saw like on those long list booklets I, I sent you, Arthur got on his straight away and he had a sentence. I can't remember exactly what it was, Arthur, but it was like, when I was young, my sisters used to like me, but now they think I'm boring or something like that. I, I love, I love, I mean, it's a bit sad, Arthur, that your family relationships are falling apart. However, it was beautiful French, complex range of structures there because Arthur put in an imperfect tense when I was younger, 
beautiful. That is exactly what we want to do. Uh, sentences long and well linked and strong and accurate tenses. That's how to get the top mark. So guys, you know you're allowed your writing strips today and your writing strips early. There is no point in you cheating on this today because it's not going to give you the feedback you want, right? So, right, you, you get a higher than normal mark, but these marks don't count. Everything you do in lockdown, I'm not counting on the spreadsheets. It's all my department. They're not allowed to do that. Um, and, and, and you won't get the feedback you need. Whereas this is your per first proper writing on a proper GCC question. Do it properly. Do it fairly. Do it honestly. And the feedback I give you will really help you out. So the next writing you can be better when we're back at school and it does count. And that's what really matters. So you're not allowed the green and amber. I know I set you for homework and you got it saved on your computer or whatever. You're not allowed to look at that. On today's handout, I've given you the red strip. You're allowed the red ones. You're allowed this and this only to support you today. So here's the questions. Read it all through. And then put me on pause. I will translate them just so my emails don't go crazy. So this is a proper GCC one. This is how they word it. So read through the whole thing in bold. Read through the questions. Put me on pause. See if you can work out what they're all asking you. And all right, guys. So let's go through the question and what it's like. They always do this. They've always got like a scenario. Now, we won't talk about this now, but but when when we go through some more writing assessments i'll talk you through how to answer your french friends and how to answer in a more formal way so don't worry about that today so this says alex your french friend has sent you look at this you has sent beautiful an email about so do means of from or about so an email about their relationships with their family and friends write an answer to alex you must make reference to the following points. Now, this is important. If you leave out a bullet point, I'll take that percentage of marks. So there's five bullet points today because I've added an extra one, there's usually four. So that means each bullet point is 20%. I'll take 20% off you if you don't answer all five. When you're answering, you can do like one, two, three, four, five and answer them like that. Don't put bullet points together. And I, I get an email from saying, I've put one and two together, is that okay? No, do not put bullet points together. Keep them separate. Leave a line between them so I can clearly see what's what. So, first bullet, bullet point says, Tu es comment? What are you like? So, that, that's a nice open question. Talk about your appearance, talk about your personality, develop as much as you can. Number two, selon toi, qu'est-ce qui constitue un bon ami? According to you, what makes a good friend? So tell me the qualities of a good friend and then develop that. For example, my friend, whatever is like this. And then number three, according to you, what makes a bad friend? So think about that. Go for it. For me, a bad friend is, for example, my friend Andrea. And then develop that as much as you can, guys. Number four, tu t'entends bien avec qui dans ta famille? Pourquoi? Who do you get on with in your family and why? remember what i was just talking about about arthur's uh, long list question and answer where he said when i was younger i used to get on with but that's what you need to put in here i know the question's not asking you that but it's relevant so use it you know congestion use it make sure you can do that maybe i'm gonna say when i'm older i will get on better with my sister because we will have the same interests or something like that that would be brilliant think about past tense think about future tense can you add them in there and then number five who don't you get on with in your family and why now you can make this up you can use like eastenders to do this say i don't like my mum because she murdered my dad or something like that that would be beautiful think about this it doesn't have to be true i'm not going to believe what i've written what you write today so don't worry i won't go to your head of year who will talk to you to find out about your tragic home life this isn't going to happen today you can make it up you can you can tell the truth but you can make it up today no one's going to judge you this is all about getting some beautiful french in our work so use your red strip and go for it guys put me on pause you got 30 minutes to complete this when you're done restart the video because i'm going to tell you how to submit your work oh and good luck bon courage me pity guys give this your everything i literally 
cannot wait to read and mark these. I've given out some top marks this year and, and those have been on more than 90 questions. This is a proper push for you today. I'll give you a GCC grade. The top mark you could probably get is a nine. You're not gonna get a nine. Don't hold your breath for a nine, Claudia, because you haven't learned enough French for a nine yet, but you could get a top mark. There's no cap on this. So good luck. Give it everything, guys. Can't wait to read them. Bon courage, mes petits chauffeurs. Vous avez 30 minutes. On y va. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I can't wait to get your work. So how do you send your work to your teacher for feedback? If you've typed it easy, email us the file. There we go. And we'll mark it and send it back to you. If you've written it on paper, I always prefer to write things out than type them, particularly in French, because I can't think as well when I'm typing. Because when I write, I'm really concentrating. Anyway, if you've written on paper, take a picture and then you can email it to us as well. And then we'll answer back on a Word document, but you can email and write it for me. I've put the date to receive this the end of tomorrow. Now, the reason for this is there's loads of talk about this in my subject leaders meeting at school. We did it over Microsoft Teams and people were saying, set them an hour and then after an hour, they have to send it you. But like your mum might be using the computer in your house or like, you know, like other things can happen. So fair enough. I've set the deadline for the end of tomorrow. End of means like five o'clock. So if you can't do this right now, fine. Like just send it by the end of tomorrow. We'll give you like 24 hours, a bit more to just make sure you've got this right and you can send it over. That's absolutely fine. If you've got a problem with like sending it, like you can't get on a computer at all or you can't email at all, just email your teacher and explain it and we'll find a way around it. So all our email addresses are here for you. There we go, in order of importance. And then um, can you just email us for me, please, with your work? Guys, I'll put, I'll put these in the description as well on YouTube so you can get to it. Right, can't wait to read them. Any problems you email me? Bonne fois aujourd'hui, guys. Cannot wait for this. Merci et au revoir.